Hello everyone, welcome back to another Manga Monday, where today I am tackling Attack on Titan. But as you can see, this page is a little different. I'm taking my own spin on it and having the characters be placed in a more modern high school slash college setting. I have another video on my channel talking about this, but I have this story in my head where the characters are in a normal situation and not in life-threatening danger all the time. Though I love the story of Attack on Titan, it is a little bit intense, so I decided to tone it down for this. This is kind of loosely based off of a alternate universe that the original mangaka, Hajime Isayama, came up with, so I'd like to just uh, spitball off of that, and who knows, maybe someday I can make my own fan manga based on it, if somebody else doesn't beat me to it first. But yes, so this page, um, as you can see, I am doing lion art over the sketch, and my idea for it was that um, Eren, Armin, and Mikasa would be studying at the library, and uh, as they get up to leave, they notice that Armin has fallen asleep on the table with a stack of books next to him. And rather than wake him up, they decide to just carry him out of there. I thought it'd be really sweet, and it really speaks to their dynamic. Uh, Mikasa has always been the, the protective one of the group, Eren is the one who takes action, and Armin is the kind-hearted soul that they, they are sworn to protect. So I thought that uh, their personalities would definitely be highlighted with a story like this. Uh, I also wanted to do this page so I could test out some of the uh, Clip Studio paint features. You'll see later, but the backgrounds I added, like the table and the bookshelves, and even the books themselves, are 3D models that I imported and then just um, turned uh, monochromatic, which is a very handy feature in Clip Studio Paint. But I wanted to experiment with it because while I want to be able to draw my own backgrounds someday, uh, to a level where they look realistic. I also thought it would be interesting to see how far I could take the 3D models and um, how much of use they could be to me, because they do help when you want to streamline your process and save a lot of time. And I think some tweaking is probably in order, but overall I do like the effect that they give, um, and it helped me just place everything in the scene. I think some of the hardest things about this page were the poses. I looked up some references, um, this one in particular that I'm drawing now with Armin resting his head on the table. I had to look up references of, of people <laughs> leaning down on tables and sleeping. Uh, and this one here where Mikas is giving Armin a piggyback ride, I definitely had to look up references for because I didn't know where his arm should be or like how she would be holding him. So. Yes, references, they are not cheating, artists are allowed to use them, and I think you should use them. They just really help you make the poses look accurate, and give you a, a, better, a better image in your head of how you should draw them, basically. Uh, for this, I, I tried um, to change the style of Attack on Titan a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a very unique style, it's kind of sketchy looking in the manga. But I would say it airs towards realism instead of cartoonish, even though it still has that cartoony feel to it. But I wanted to play out the, the cartoony side a little bit more since this is a less serious version of the story. Uh, and I used mostly black and white. I didn't use hardly any shading. Um, the only screen tones I used were for the background. And if I did add shadows, it was all done with black lines, which I, I like that effect anyway. Uh, and I just wanted to see if I could uh, use black and white to a good effect, which I think works. I mean, Mikasa's hair is all black, and then Armin's wearing a long sleeve black t-shirt underneath his shirt, so I think the, uh, the intended effect was achieved. <laughs> Another hard thing I had to draw was, well, not only their clothing, but uh, the two backpacks that Aaron is carrying. Um, I made them look cute but I think I could stand to use a little more work on those as well. And I uh, also changed the eyes last minute. Uh, you'll see it in the final, but instead of making pupils, which I thought looked kind of creepy, I just blacked them out and added shine. So here you go, here is the finished page. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I would love to explore these characters even more, uh, but let me know if you liked it. 
And a brief update about the channel, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus because I'm working on a silent manga audition entry, so more on that later. But I won't be seeing you for a while. But thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you.